guys, in case you're new to this channel, my name is Hamad Benesha. I'm the founder of undoit.ca. In this channel, I talk about MacBooks, MacBooks repairs, everything to do with MacBooks. I'm located in Toronto, Canada, downtown next to the Sin Tower. And I have been in the business for over 20 years. I'm also an Apple certified technician and I only fix MacBooks, nothing else. So if you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Well, hi guys, uh, bonjour, comme d'habitude, un petit coucou à nos amis francophones du Québec. Um, today we have a MacBook Pro. 13 inch um, what happened the end user here was trying to clean up the, um, the fan and he accident, accident, accidentally um, completely removed um, the connector from the board it's actually broken as you can see over here I don't know if you can see but um, I will remove the board and we'll take a closer look at it so we took it to uh, to the Apple store they told him they need to replace the board I also took it to uh, a local uh, shop they told him that there was nothing you can do about it so he ended up bringing it here and uh, we'll uh, hopefully fix it for him and uh, we'll uh, take care of it. So let's get started. I'll show you how to fix it and uh, shouldn't take too long. So this is a MacBook Pro model A1278. Very good model in my opinion. Uh, it looks pretty fast. It works pretty fast if you put in an S SSD hard drive. Um, this is model 2012 because you can see uh, the cable 2011 is, is thinner 2012 is good because you can it supports up to um, Catalina so if you have a uh, one of those model you can just put an, uh, an SSD hard drive and then you can install um, uh, up to Cat uh, Catalina that's uh, what's available today anyway it's Catalina so it works with Catalina no problem um, so let's remove it quickly. So it, let's say if you want to clean up your fan, what you can do, you can always obviously remove the battery. Okay, and let's say this is still connected over here. It didn't break it. All you can do is just remove those two screw, three screws and then you can clean it like that and then put it back without having to actually remove the the, the fan, the, the connector. Uh, this person told me he was watching a video on YouTube and some some other videos and they told him to remove told to remove the connector. And that's how he broke it. Um, but it's not necessary, you don't have to remove the connector. If it's only for cleaning, you don't have to do, to do it. Okay. Okay, so I must go here. Okay, now we have to remove this over here. That's what holds the LCD cable. Okay, and there's a microphone here. I need to loosen up a little for the board to come out. Okay, so let's remove the DC jack and the board is out. So I'm going to remove the RAM. Okay, we're going to dust it a little. I'm going to dust it a little bit. So what I'll do for for this client after that, I will also replace the um, the heatsink compound which is underneath here. Okay. Just as a courtesy, because the reason why I wanted to uh, to um, dust the, the fans because he told me it was getting hot, so I will also replace for him the the heatsink compound at no extra charge, like I do normally. Okay, so let's see. So what we need to do here? That's where the the fan connector is. As you can see, it's completely broken. See, it took it apart. The good thing, the pads are still there, so I don't need to jump wires, but let's see if he somehow remove the pads from the logic board. It's still fixable. Just need to jump wires, okay, to the connector, and that's it. In this case, it's not that bad. So, 
So I'm gonna put it under the microscope. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can still see or not. We'll try my best. Uh, let me see. Um, oh, okay. Um, okay, I'll do it without the microscope. It's not really uh, that difficult. I'm gonna put new solder. No, I'm gonna remove. Should I can do it like that? Okay, let me double check underneath the microscope. Ah, pretty good. Okay, so let me bring it closer to you. As you can see, nice and shiny soldering. Okay, now we're gonna try it. So, maybe I'm just gonna use a DC jack so that way I don't have to plug it in all, all the way to the to the casing, okay, so we need this, I'm just gonna put some RAM, maybe a fan, uh, maybe a, sorry, a speaker, just to see, okay, so let's see if it turns on, first of all, mm, not turning on, what's going on? Okay, so the fan is still not fixed. I heard the chime, but the fan is not fixed. Okay, let me put it under the microscope. I, I need to take a closer look because I cannot really see without it. Okay, so let's resolder the pins. spinning and the height of the charm okay one more time let's turn it on there you go problem resolved there was no need to replace the logic board um, again what happened there um, the solar and it's hard for me to see without the microscope but um, there was one, one of them that was not connected properly. One of those four pins that was not soldered properly. So with the microscopes, it'd be easier. Okay, so uh, the problem is resolved with this uh, MacBook. Um, all I gotta do now is just, I'm gonna replace the heatsink for him. So remove those three screws. I will show you, it's probably dried completely by now. Yes, you can see, see, it's pretty dried, it's like almost uh, 
cracked but um, so I'm gonna just clean it remove the excess there I'm gonna clean this one too So when I say clean it, basically what I'm doing, all I'm doing is just taking a piece of cloth like that and going to remove it, okay? And then I used a, a brush like this, okay? Just to remove the excess dust. Now I'm gonna use a proper cloth, okay? To completely make sure this is nice and shiny, this area here on the top of the CPU. So when I put a new heat sink, it's actually sitting on the CPU, not on the dust, okay? So that way, it it can cool off properly. So fine. I can find it. Heat sink. Yeah. Compound. Some here earlier. Here it is. So there's different brands, different um, type of uh, heat sink. The one I like the most is more expensive, but this one over here is pretty good. Very good actually. So I'm gonna put some here. You don't need to put too much, okay? And all you do is put it right on the shiny part over here, okay? You don't need to put all over. Sometimes I receive machine th that is hitting everywhere, especially on the GPU. No, it's this this area over here that needs to cool off. Okay, so we're gonna put it back. So when you put the screws, you apply. You don't apply full. Pr you know, you don't put the screw all the way in until you put all of them and then you start cross uh, you know cross um uh, i don't know the word exactly i'm looking for cross cr screwing i guess so you do one and then uh, so that way this it sits properly okay as if you do one at a time and you screw it all the way it will be crooked a little bit okay so go one in this case there is only three but let's say if there is four you go like this okay cross okay so now it's enough now I'm gonna go all the way make sure it's screwed properly all the way perfect okay okay now we're gonna test it one more time okay There you go, beautiful. When it's turning on, you heard the chime, the machine is fixed. So this is how um, basically you fix a broken uh, uh, fan. In this case, like I said, it was not difficult because the pad was still there. And uh, sometime when somebody make, make this accident, same, same mistake, the pads completely come off the board. And again, even if this is the case, you do not have to get a new board. We can just jump a wire directly from this side over here onto where those pads are connected okay they are connected somewhere okay we just have to check figure out and then and then jump a wire so there is no need you know to throw a good working logic board just because the fan is no longer working okay so if you have a problem similar problem or for additional videos uh just ch you can check me out on youtube look uh, search under hamad benesha or andoit.ca The process is very easy whether you're located in Toronto or anywhere in Canada, just visit andoit.ca, click here to get a quote, or you can also click on the menu here, get a free quote, it's the same link. There is nine different categories, so try to select the one that best apply to you. In this example, I'm just going to click on my screen is black, and uh, let's assume my screen goes black when I tilt it. So I can, you can either get a free quote online, or you can also call if you prefer. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to click on get a free quote, fill up the form and just click on submit form. When you click on submit form, this is what I receive on my end. And as you can see, we do receive a lot of requests. Uh, actually, 90% of our business is uh, shipped to us now from all over Canada. So you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. Uh, so I read it 
analyze it and then I send an email with a quote uh, with all the option to the client and if you decide to ship it you just click uh, here to select your shipping option and then you'll receive a shipping label. As soon as your MacBook is fixed, you will receive an email with pictures showing your MacBook repaired, your invoice, and how to proceed with the payment by credit card. As soon as the payment is made, we'll send it back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to receiving your MacBook. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.